Hello everybody, how are you doing? Alright, so I'm gonna show you something in LMMS, but before I do that, I'll show you what I do on the task manager. And I don't know if it will mess up my recording, but I use Cam Studio and LMMS. But what I do when I record, so my computer doesn't bog too terribly, is I go to my processes, find the LMMS process, and then I set the affinity give LMS three of my cores. Okay, that's fine. And then this one here, flashing, I believe that is Cam Studio. So I go to the process, yes, recorder. Set affinity, and it just gets that last core. Hopefully it won't mess up too bad when recording, so you can see what I did there. All right, so what am I gonna do in LMS today? I am going to make a crazy, crazy random drum roll using just the stuff in LMMS. So you go to instruments and you add sub effects. Actually I'm gonna go to preset. But what's the one near uh, sound font? If you have a drum kit sound font, this should also work for that. But I'm gonna use the Sinsato add sub effects preset. <laughs> Pardon me. But yeah. So we go drums. Cause this is also a drum kit. Where is it? I know it's in here. Here it is. This is a drum kit. And I'll just name it that instead of default preset. And put it in a channel slot. Just being glad I have it to put it in a channel slot. And break this up. And the thing about drum kits is there's different drums on each note. That's particular that's the particular thing about it. No drums below the C3 octave. C3. Just like a limited scale. Starts right about there. Okay. Anyhow, that gives you an idea of these drums. And the thing I'm going to do is make random. Random? <laughs> I'm speaking too fast. Random crazy drums is find that octave. So it's C3. It starts out at, and you just make a long note there. Well, like that doesn't sound like random crazy drums. Yeah. But I'll show you how easy it is. It's ridiculously easy. Oops. Wrong thing. I want bring it up. That's where I screw up. I want this window here. And you go into the function menu and you go into Arpeggio. <laughs> nice little Italian word, right? And what we do is we want something besides an octave. Let's try one of these, like Locrian. And you go to the tempo sync. We'll try a sixteenth note. There we go. And we'll set the mode for free. It's the direction we want is rando. See that? You can pick different uh, chord types for your arpeggio. And it should change it. So now let's see how this plays. I'll turn on looping. And instant crazy random drums. See how that works? If I change this. This is pretty cool. And I can change the note speed. <laughs> Isn't that neat? So if you're really lazy and you don't feel like making a whole bunch of drums, you can also do it up and down. If you want a regular sounding pattern. Up and down. Up. Basically you pick different chord types. Now I'll give you an instant drum pattern. And you can also adjust the range if your drum kit is more extended. Yeah. This one only goes like about two octaves. So the drum kit that comes on sub didn't say add sub effects. <laughs> Pardon me, let me stop this. The drum kit on Zin add sub effects only goes like about two octaves. But you can get some sound font drum kits that are much more extended and you just use the same idea here. You just use the Go to the instrument controls, and go to the function tab, 
you just set up an arpeggio the arpeggiator function on here and you pick like you can pick any of these actually but I like the longer ones weird, more weird sounding chord types and you set your range time and gate and you right click to get that menu by the way yeah you can contact these controllers and LFOs and stuff and really get wild with them I'm just showing you instant random crazy drums like random you can set that to random it's something you can create in about under a minute <laughs> there you go but that's like a stupid LMS trick that anybody can do and you want to have like a drum break or something break up your song throwing crazy drums you're like someone would be like how do you do that well, the secret is this you don't even really have to know much. It's just something fun, something easy. And like I said, you can throw it in your song, put it under a minute. You can probably do it in the beat and bass line editor. I just did it here because it's quick. Either way it works. You can throw that in as your drum break and it's like... But you get the idea. I just showed it to you. And now I'm done. <laughs>